Hello and welcome to the presentation of an amazing series of snapshots of one of the most beautiful projects of this last year. Leading up to the COP26 gathering in Glasgow, uh, which because of various elements of climate change and travel, took place with a reduced indigenous presence. Uh, the Totonac people from Veracruz in Mexico sent to Glasgow an amazing totem made from a single tree, which shows the inner penetration of all beings in this world the complete fact that the human and the non-human are inseparable and interpenetrated, the idea that there actually is no division between human and non-human, the idea that every single living thing is living, and that includes rocks and plants, planets, solar systems, star patterns, Every single thing is alive, and we are embedded in this completely interchangeable field after field of energy, all of which have moral impulse, all of which actually, in order to be sustained, in order to sustain each other, require care, attention, compassion, interest, sacrifice, offering, love, and doing the right thing. There's a moral imperative inside the growth of a tree and the growth of a child. And every single day, the moral imperative has to lead because we're here not just to survive, we're here to flourish. We're here to create a world that has not yet been seen. So this act of positive engagement with every breath, with every action that we take, is the message from indigenous communities all over the world. And this amazing totem takes you into well what we know as as a medi beautiful meditation practice in hindu tradition in tibetan buddhist traditions which is the contemplation imagining yourself with six or seven heads and realize that you have eyes three eyes for each head what can you see if you can see in all directions through the eyes of the hummingbirds? And the hummingbirds have amazing, amazing visual systems. What are we not seeing with our own eyes? And what do we need to see through the eyes of other people, other beings, other perspectives, other points of view looking down from up, looking up from down, looking across. These powerful totems are an image of what it is to live life with multiple heads, to actually think from many ways of thinking, not just one way of thinking, and to step forward into the wholeness of our being, the depth of our thoughts, our feelings, our emotional life, our intuition, our hope, and our fear. This totem shimmering, sparkling, commanding attention in the streets of Manchester, <laughs> this fantastic being that demonstrates uh, the immensity of scale of every being, that we all have 
these multiple roles to play. We all have this multiple worlds to embody and to uplift and to support and to nourish. And those worlds are nourishing us if we will let them. This gesture uh, was an amazing gesture that was sent to the COP26 conference where, again, most things are <laughs> laid out with a kind of legalese, which of course is the lingua franca of our time, I suppose, but in fact, there are deeper languages and those languages are birdsong, the sound of a mountain stream, and the wind whistling through your hair, through your mind, across generations. That's the actual soundtrack. And our own heartbeats. And that rhythm that lets us move independently and together. This totem embodies uh, all of our multiplicity and all of our solidarity because we're all standing on each other's shoulders. This was a beautiful image to take to uh, a kind of rather official gathering of statistics and legalese and to say actually the truths that we're looking for and hoping, hoping to defend are so much more organic and are in fact self-evident the minute you place yourself into the authentic context and listen and look. These totems are these incredible structures of witness and these incredible towers of receivership, of receiving, listening, listening, taking in messages from across the solar system and sending them out. The beautiful thing is that uh, the border crossings uh, organization in the context of their origins festival decided to invite the totem <laughs> from Veracruz to Europe, to England, to Scotland, and to do what indigenous practice actually always creates, which is in the process of embarking on something, we are creating new networks, new connections, new conversations, people who have never met or waiting to meet. And these points of contact and intersection are the beginnings of lifelong friendships and lifelong commitment. Lifelong commitments to each other. And the entire process, which is hinted at in, in this uh, film, of getting <laughs> this totem <laughs> from, from the forest in, in Veracruz <laughs> to, to uh, a circle of ancient rocks uh, in the United Kingdom. Uh, that process itself meant a lot of people had to talk to a lot of people. A lot of people had to cooperate with each other. A lot of people had to commit to making something crazy and unlikely occur in our lifetime. Let's join these amazing and inspired people. And let's all please commit to making something amazing and unlikely happen in our lifetime.
Ahora estoy en tus pies, reina Mercedes te pido, líbranos de todo mal, pues el Señor está contigo, los ángeles en el cielo, ya la ven con alegría, y nosotros en la tierra, díganos a María. Más hermosa que la luna, más linda que el sol eres, es el principio del mundo, señora bendita eres, los ángeles en el cielo, te alaben con alegría, y nosotros en la tierra, díganos a María. Eres madre de Jesús, sagrada virgen solo eres, tu escogida de Dios. Buen día, mi nombre es Jun Tiburcio, originario del municipio de Chumatlán, Veracruz, México. Esta pieza artística, la Tamat, si en lengua tutunacú significa la vida. El hombre águila, hombre guerrero, es símbolo de fuerza en el país de México, en todas las culturas originarias de México, representa fuerza, valor, belleza y sabiduría que tiene movimiento, 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 que da la vida. La vida que representa lo mejor del mundo y de la naturaleza. Da un giro. Al final tenemos una muerte consciente por haber cuidado el planeta Tierra. Gracias por invitarnos al Festival Orígenes. Gracias al Reino Unido que hace partícipe al pueblo de Chumatlán, Veracruz, México, a la autoridad a la comunidad que ha dado todos los esfuerzos para elaborar esta joya mexicana.
most uh, people they talk and talk and talk about the climate change but once you feel it in your in your house once you feel it once you feel the the burning once you feel the wind once you feel the rain once you feel even the earthquakes uh, you realize that it's something real and it's something happening now it's not a thing of talking it's also a thing of feeling and in our land lately has just uh, hit the grace hurricane it has destroyed houses it has destroyed roads it has destroyed all our food that we grow all our corn all our, our coffee it's like a a big monster that came and took millenarian trees from the root and it took them away it took we are sad we are sad because we were about to die because we lost our food we lost our, we lost our houses but this phenomenon does not only pass it stays in our hearts and and this phenomenon also helped to open our hearts to have solidarity with our people with our animals with the earth because this hurricane comes now and goes from country to country through the whole earth and that means we are all interconnected it doesn't matter one if one is in the west or in the east or in the north or in the south we all are interconnected this hurricane touches our hearts letting us feel the the rage of the earth and the rage of the climate uh, which is very hot and very angry the climate with us uh, so we have to act before this climate change destroys our planet Global warming is the overall temperature of the Earth caused, caused by an increase of carbon dioxide and pollution. It has a big impact on water shortages, weathers, seas, oceans and even the air that we breathe. Due to global warming, temperatures rise to severe heights and are the cause of many storms, heat waves, floods and death rates around the world.
But first, it is being billed as the world's best last chance to get runaway climate change under control. COP26 brings together politicians from across the world to discuss the problem of climate change and to pledge action. The summit's happening in Glasgow in a few weeks' time and campaigners are heading there too, hoping their messages will be heard. One is on its way from Mexico and today it reached Milton Keynes. Sam Reid is there for us tonight. Sam. Yes, Janine, it is this totem pole that's made it from Mexico to the railway station here before going on to Glasgow. And that conference where 200 countries will be asked to pledge how they will reduce emissions. We're expecting a lot of noise around this conference in the coming weeks and one community hopes this will help them be heard. The celebration around a totem pole shipped from Mexico to Milton Keynes. It's designed to draw attention to environmental challenges. It will eventually move to the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow. It came here because of a link with a local academic. The totem was made to bring a message from the Totonac people, but also other indigenous people who don't have a kind of organised seat at the COP26 gathering. The message is that we need, first of all, to respect life. Can bringing this to Milton Keynes, to this conference, really make a difference? So we don't think one, one totem is going to do all the work, but one thing capturing attention from lots of people and eventually, hopefully soon, uh, more political decisions that will confront climate change seriously for the first time. It's called Totem Latamat, which means life. It was made from just one tree on Mexico's east coast. I think for us as Mexican, obviously, it's like something deep in our heart that we really um, resonate with it. Anna moved from Mexico to the UK more than a decade ago and now lives in Milton Keynes. My mum, she used to make small ones in like pieces of wood, but I have never seen one in real life. And I really like it. Especially the top bit with the colibris. I would never expect to see something like this here. The demand for growth in Milton Keynes is different to that in Mexico. The campaigners say in both places, climate action is needed. Well, community representatives, interest groups, politicians from around the world will be in Glasgow. It will be difficult to be heard. Difficult too to assess exactly what will be achieved at this conference and how that will affect our lives here. But trying to make those assessments, while well, that work will start to happen soon, the conference gets underway on October the 31st. Thank you, Sam. The hummingbird, it's a very intelligent bird, even though their, its body is very small, very little. The hummingbird travels from Alaska to Chile, from the North America to the South of America. And through its journey, 
it knows different earth, mountains, climates, foods. It knows the messages of different towns. It goes through forests, through rivers, to the ice, to the snow. And it's so brave that when even when he gets bottom of America, it started its travel again through the north of America, bringing messages from all the from all the different towns and connecting all the different original towns. The totem is a great force of power for the men to look for taking care of the environment and the life. And that means taking care of Mother Earth. Because this planet is strong and we need to make strong efforts to save the planet. We have to find our power, our own power, and use it to heal the planet. Because the planet is suffering and we need this strong and this power. And this power would come from all of us, from all the human beings, from all the not human beings, from all the countries, from all the work, and we we all work together, we can save this planet and live harmoniously. This is no longer a climate conference. This is now a Global North Greenwash Festival. Indígenas, contribuímos para toda a humanidade. And the climate and ecological crisis, of course, doesn't exist in a vacuum. It is directly tied to other crises and injustices that date back to colonialism and beyond. 
crises based on the idea that some people are worth more than others and therefore had the right to steal others, to exploit others and to steal their land and resources. Hi guys, it's Angus here with Glasgow Live and we are in the Hidden Gardens uh, in the south side of Glasgow. So uh, today uh, the Hidden Gardens is playing host to a wee event which is looking at the Latimac Totem. So a lot of people will see a lot of the uh, aims of the protests and stuff like that that have uh, occurred outside of COP26 have looked at the, the impact of indigenous communities on the environment and how Climate change is seriously affecting these people all around the world. It, it carries a message, but it's not political. It's not um, divisive. You know, it's it's not that kind of message. It's more like a, um, to me, it's a, it's a reminder and also a warning of um, how we are all, you know, humans are part of wider, um, like a larger than um, um, human species and entities because here it is in the garden just south just a few miles from where the negotiations are negotiating and we're here from the negotiations and i should be going back into negotiations later and so i should be taking some of the energy and the messages maybe a bit of the spirit of the serpent with me you know don't lie <laughs> there's an awful lot of words um uh, the architecture of the negotiations is words very dry words on a page and one of the things that people struggle with is um, understanding how diplomatic words black and white page um, actually then will change our world and how we will act to actually save it and so it's it's pieces of art it's it's instantiations of ideas like this which help all of us understand that those words are supposed to be about protecting the planet, protecting different species, ultimately protecting us. Bueno, mi nombre es Antonia Alba, eh, del pueblo Cuna. Me, my, name eh, is... me, mi nombre en Cuna es Naras Cuñay. My name is Antonia Alba. I'm from the Cuna people, and my name in in Cuna is Naras Cuñay. La espiritualidad para nosotros es muy importante. Spirituality for us is very important. Porque vivimos sobre ella, de ella Because we y live por on, ella. We live on it and, and, and for it. For y her. luego pues claro, no, eso es lo que hace la espiritualidad hace de que nosotros tengamos la conciencia de que todo esto es de, eh, nosotros estamos de paso nada más. Pero todo esto se queda. Our spirituality shows us that we are only passing through, so everything that is here will stay. A nosotros nuestros ancianos nos cantan. Our, our elders uh, sing to us. Sobre la creación y que en esa creación siempre estuvo la mujer presente. They sing to us about creation and about how in every creation the woman was there. Por eso nosotros trabajamos de lo que ya, se llamamos la dualidad, hombre-mujer. Porque creo que nosotros las mujeres también tenemos derecho a esa voz, porque somos las que más estamos cuidando el, el medio ambiente. I believe we have a right to that voice because we are the ones who most take care of the natural environment. Somos las que resguardamos las memorias de nuestros antepasados. We are the ones who care for the memory of our ancestors. Somos las que enseñamos a nuestros hijos. We teach our children. A que ellos también tengan el valor de cuidar el medio ambiente. 
that they also should have that value of taking care of the natural environment. Porque si no lo cuidamos, ¿qué pasa con el río? Because if we don't take care of it, what happens to the river? ¿Qué pasa con la naturaleza? What happens to nature? Con el, con el territorio nuestro. With our territory. In their autumn wardrobe, the woodlands of the Crichton are always popular. But this week, there's a very different attraction here. After a 5,000 mile journey, this Mexican totem pole is a call for recognition of climate change, from indigenous communities already feeling its effects. The artist, Hunter Burkio, uh, his house was almost destroyed by the last hurricane, which was much worse than any previous hurricane there because of climate change. So bringing their knowledge, not only of climate change now, but of the kind of resilient cultures who can deal with it, because they understand the world differently to the Western world, which has created the problem. So, so the message of Totem Latamat is that we humans are part of the whole community of life, and we need to get back involved, rather than seeing ourselves as some sort of separate creature that can just do what we like. A special debate tonight on the campus will explore those themes further. The team behind the tour say it's prompted lots of discussion, especially on its main stop off at COP26 in Glasgow. Just like here, people were visiting it, stopping, just captivated by it. It doesn't really need someone like me standing between it and the public. The totem tells its own story. It's so distinct. It's so not Scottish that that in itself invites people to think about where it has come from and why it's here and what the meaning within its images are. This passerby said it was doing just that. I love the colours in it. I love what it depicts. But at the same time, it, there's a sadness about it too. I just hope that people look at that and 
think about the world, think about the planet, think about the people in other parts of the world. Its hosts say the Crichton is a fitting final home. That This totem really kind of talks about uh, the environment and how important it is to our lives and, and our impact on the environment. And uh, here at the Crichton we want to think about what we can do and how as individuals and how as an organisation we can have a really positive impact as we move forward, as we move toward, forward to being um, carbon net neutral by 2030. A ceremony tomorrow will see the totem return to the land. It's hoped this Mexican seed sprouts new Scottish ideas about averting climate change. Bruce McKenzie, ITV News, in Dumfries. And now that coffee's over and it has spoken, it's right that it should come here to Dumfries where this morning we're going to do what's probably the most important thing of all in this journey, which is to end it, to lay it to rest and to do that in an environmentally sustainable way so that it will go down here into this trench in a part of the grounds which is going to be rewilded so that over time it can slowly return to the earth and the natural materials of which it is made will be given back to the earth. And that teaches us something. Because this totem is called Latimat, and Latimat in the language of the Totonac people means life. It's not just an artifact, a thing, a piece of material culture that you can put in a museum or you can put on a shelf or you can stick into a sculpture park. The whole point is that it is engaged with people and with places, changing place and space, energising people and communities, because life exists in relationship to other lives. It comes into the world, it does what it has to do, it is active and then it perishes and leaves it. And actually that act of perishing is what gives life its meaning. Because if we lived forever we wouldn't have to do anything. But we don't live forever, and so we do have responsibilities, and those responsibilities are to the future. We have to be good ancestors. And so let's think about taking the long view which Latimer teaches us. When you meet indigenous elders, or actually when you meet this totem, you can see that the eyes look very, very far. Our eyes don't look very far, we look about that far in front of our face. Oh, look what's happening next. They look very deep inside themselves. That's a culture that is long and sustained and deeply rooted. And so they have the energy to draw off that and to take a long vision into the future and to imagine a world that will be better. The gaze of the totem is doing the same. Totem Latimat comes to us with a challenge and an invitation. And the invitation is to become hummingbirds ourselves, to spread messages, to talk to other people, and to become eagles, to become the ones who fly and who look at a wider picture and who are brave and strong. Totem Latimat, we welcome you with air and breath, with fire and hope, with stone and death, with love and passion. Welcome. Totem Latimat, we receive you into tree and root, into leaf and growth, into seed and dream, into earth and joy. And Totem Latimat, we rejoice in you with playing children, with resting birds, with rooted fungi, with burrowing grubs, with the earth of our land, with the bones of our people, with the dreams of our poets, with the songs of our seals. We embrace you. And Totem, when you are at rest, the weary traveller, the trailing ivy, the foraging ants, the sailing clouds, the falling rain, 
the winter snow, the summer heat, a spring promise, an autumn dream. All, all of these, all of us, all of this place salutes you. Become the wind on the sea, become the waves on the sea, become a tear of the sun, go with joy in your heart and the words of the hummingbird on your tongue and the strength of the eagle in your heart. Oh. 